Hello. Today we are going to be doing a fascia flow for the calves and the rest of the body. When you're executing this particular flow, the main thing to think about is that you are continuously keeping your calf muscle contracted. You always want to maintain contraction with movement to affect your fascia. Let's begin. Take a moment to stand with good posture. Imagine lengthening, but also integrating rib cage over the pelvis. Imagine your 50% body weight distribution in both of your legs. Imagine your feet like a footprint in the sand. Pressure through the foot in the ball of the foot at the big toe, at the pinky toe, and at the heel. Imagine laser light beams going straight down through the floor. And they're not angled anywhere, they're going straight down. That even contact in body weight distribution is so important so that the nervous system sends the message all the way down to the feet especially because we're going to be focusing in what's happening in our lower part of our body. Take a moment, make any adjustments you need to make. Make sure that your glutes are evenly contracted, your hamstrings, your quads, your calves, and again, your footprint in the sand. Take a deep breath in, big exhale out, relaxing your shoulder blades, finding the deep muscles underneath your shoulder blades to set drawing your chin towards your throat, and taking one foot in front of the other. As you begin, you can start to adjust to make sure that the distance is appropriate for your body. Looking down at your feet, make sure both toes are facing directly forward. If you look down and you notice that you are turning out with your back foot, that's good information for your body to have. It's telling you that your fascia is pulling you in a particular rotation of your hip or maybe the rib cage. Even if it's not totally natural, still bring your toes directly forward. Squaring your hips and shoulders straight ahead. Hands on your hips and take your first muscle contraction, pressing down into the feet and in opposite directions. Your back leg is resisting back, your front leg is resisting forward. Hold that there and still think about what muscles you're contracting. Are you contracting your calf and back? If not, find that calf muscle. Press your back heel down into the ground actively. You'll feel your toes and the ball of the feet too. That's okay on both sides. But really think about that heel as if it's gonna slide straight back. Once you have that contraction, movement begins by bending your front knee forward. Keep bending that front knee forward. Take a look down, make sure your knees don't pass your toes. If they do, scoot your foot forward more. Still pressing down and back. You're never releasing, even when you come to the end of the movement. Relax to come back up. Let's start that again. Resist in opposites. Get your back glute firing a little extra and see how that translates more power and force down into the leg. Relax to come back up. If you want more range of, range of motion, bring your front foot forward even more. Resist in opposites. Hold it. Contract where you need it, in the calf. Maybe think about the heel and the Achilles tendon and the tissue that wraps underneath your foot like a hook. Make your movement. Your body is coming forward with your bending of the knee so that you're protecting your back and you're not hanging out back here. Everything's moving forward together. Relax to come back. One more like this. Find that resistance, keep it. Good, keep it. Now we're gonna play, we're gonna explore, we're gonna move. If you feel okay with the structure of your body, the integration of your feet and the resistance in the right direction, folding at your hips. Reaching maybe for the floor, or if you have blocks, feel free to do that. And let your head release, so you're working the fascia in the entire back line of your body. You are still pressing down and back with your foot. I can see I am because my toes are white. Keep finding that resistance. Press through your front foot and roll it back up using your deep core. Take a moment to relax. Shake it out. We're going to do that again. Woo! Feel things happening. Go back into your stance. Add your resistance. Feel the back calf, back glute. Keep contracting. Bend your front knee forward. 
hips and shoulders square to the front, fold at your hips, reaching for the floor or blocks, head fully releases, creating that full fascial activation from the heel of your back foot all the way to your head. Bend your elbows more if you need a little bit more movement. Press through the front foot, ground down to come up, both legs are slightly straight. Resist in opposites again, finding that movement forward. Stay here. Now you're gonna open your hips in the direction of the leg that's in back. You're still resisting in opposites. Do you feel that spiral within your body? Your fascia spirals. Feeling where in your calf, your heel, you have a pull. Stay with it. Bringing the back arm down, reaching the top arm up. You are still activating your legs. Hold three, hold two, and hold one. Bring everything back. Unspiral yourself back to center. One more time. We're playing today. Exploring, discovering, resistant opposites. Keep resisting in opposites. Find your muscle contraction. Your pelvis rotates in the direction of your back foot. Holding that there, feeling the rotation of the hips, maybe the spine you feel, depending on where your fascia is dense, you'll feel it more. You're spiraling towards that back leg. Arm comes down the back of the leg, other arm reaches up. This time, take a look up at your hand. Keep resisting your legs in opposites and feet into the ground for three. Breathe two. Oh, one, this feels good. And back on spiral to center. Shake everything out. Notice what you're feeling in your body. All right, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna move to the other side. We're first gonna come into just our basic fascia calf activation, then our bending forward, and then we're gonna go into our spiral. Taking the other foot in front, other foot back. Set yourself up. Legs are straight-ish, but not locked. Hips, shoulders squared. Look down, toes forward, check, check, check. Resist your legs in opposites. Take a moment now that we're on the other side. Back glute engaged, back calf active. Keep contracting it. Once you have it in the back calf, then you start to bend your front knee forward. Being mindful that you have even pressure through the feet, both of them. Relax to come back. Resist in opposites. Keep the movement, keep the body coming forward. Front leg's your working leg, we're fascia activating our back leg. We shorten first, we contract second, we move forward on third. Okay, the next one we're gonna add our bend. Add your resistance at opposites. Keep it, focus. Maybe the Achilles tendon needs a little TLC. Contract the muscles, your soleus, closer to the Achilles tendon. Take your first fold, balancing. Stay active in your legs. Reaching down, head comes down. You're still resisting your front foot down and back. Ground down through the front leg, round it up. Good, back to center, relax for a moment. Inhale and exhale, begin again. Resist in opposites, find your calf and back. Keep resisting the heel down, folding, bending at the hips. Release the head fully, get that full back line. Hold three, hold two, hold one, press through the front foot, come up. Last one, resist in opposites, bend it forward. Going through a bit of a flow here, reaching it down. Head releases, press through the foot, come up. Good, we're doing our spiral now. Readjust, find your opposite resistance. Take your first pause. Find your back calf where you need it. Twisting, rotating, spiraling the hips in the opposite direction. Hold that there, you're still resisting in opposites. Always checking in. Back arm's gonna reach down the leg, other arm is gonna reach up. Take this one, you're just exploring, holding. This one for me is harder to maintain my contraction in my back calf, so play with it. See if you can find it. Retrain your nervous system to get the commute to where you want it. Unspiral back to center. Starting again, this time we're looking up. Resist. Find that calf. Keep it. And find your hip rotation. Tighter in the hips on this side for me. All these discoveries. What are you discovering? Slide that hand down, reach the other arm up. 
to it and take a look at it. Finding that, breathe through it. Your back calf is still active. This one is so much harder than the other side. Do you notice the, the differences in your body? Unspiral, back to center, micro bend, step together. All right, test your body out. What are some of the things that you learned today in class? For me, I learned that my left side is much more difficult to integrate, to contract. So if you think about walking throughout your day, that is something that might be happening all the time. If you found some muscles that just aren't firing or they're just not getting the message as cleanly or as quickly as you would like or they did on the first or second side. Take these things, take your time on the side that's a little bit more challenging for you and add an extra repetition, an extra set on that side. Take your time, go slow and integrate your muscles. The more you do now, the better you'll be as you move through life. Thank you so much. Leave me a comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and I'll be back with more soon.